Hello guys, Standing Simmer here today, and welcome back to the channel for another speed build in The Sims 4. Guys, I'm super excited, as I always am, to bring you this speed build because I love so much the way that it turned out. Now, this is a part of my brand new Building Up Windenburg series. There have been several builds already that have gone up on the channel in relation to this series. Um, this one, though, is a little different, which is one of the reasons that I'm excited to bring it to you. Um, so I am building on the island of Windenburg, and I actually had a totally different build in mind to share with you guys today. I actually have nearly completed at least two or three other builds and one of them in particular like literally just has like a bedroom and the landscaping to be done and it's finished. That was actually what I intended to share with you guys today but I just built this last night and into this morning and I edited the footage and here I am doing the voiceover and I'm so excited with how it turned out that I was like eh we're gonna do this one today and then the build that I was referring to earlier will probably come out sometime next week. So long story short I feel like I've been kind of a building machine when it comes to the series. Uh, I think I mentioned this in it probably at least the last speed builder too, but I've been so motivated with building this series that I'm just like, build, build, build. You know, I'm so, I just, I just want to get into it. I don't want to waste any time. I have ideas for what I want to do, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I think I just am going to take advantage of that while it's here. And so I hope you guys don't mind that pretty much all the builds that are going up on the channel right now are completely tied to this building up Windenburg series. I definitely want to, like I said, take advantage of the build inspiration that I've got kind of flowing and I'm um, just really put out a lot of content for the series because that's kind of what I have in my mind right now. So I'm um, I think that even though a lot of the builds that are going out are for the series there is enough variety in the style at least in my mind so that it doesn't look like I'm building the exact same thing over and over and over again. So for example the part of Windenburg that I was building on quite a bit last week which is more the quote-unquote like college town like the younger area of Windenburg where you have like some share houses probably and the laundromat and cafe that I had that went up last week that is definitely more like I said the younger kind of maybe university inspired type crowd or at least the younger going into your first job kind of crowd whereas on the island of Windenburg here I kind of have a different type of person or family in mind so I was actually originally going to build on this island in a more modern style. So like I was thinking a lot of glass, a lot of clean, smooth edges, a lot of like neutral-ish colors. That's initially what my thinking was. And the reason I decided to steer away from that kind of at the last minute for me was that first of all, I found some really great inspiration photos for some things I want to do here on the island. Second of all, the modern style is a style that a lot of people do for the island of Winnenberg. My guess on that is probably because the a lot of the builds that already come on the island are pretty modern in style so that makes sense right I mean especially if you're building and you're using some of the original EA lots or the e original EA houses then keeping the island to a modern style makes sense but in my case I am completely rebuilding all of the lots I'm not planning at this point to do any renovations at least I'm th that's my thinking right now I'm really wanting for this to be very original like from my own brain like original content no renovation type of um, world save I guess you could say and so for that reason that meant that I could completely do whatever I wanted to with the island and like I said what I'm thinking is I'm gonna turn at least the residential lots that I'm thinking right now into these more beach style houses um, it's been several months ago on the channel I think at this point it was one of the first speed builds I ever shared on the channel but I built a house called the simple beach shack and since I already had that built I would and I was already thinking that I would be turning the island into a, the beach shack type style I thought that it would be perfect for me to just use that house and then to kind of mimic that style as we went. So that is the, that's, that's the long description for what I think that this style is going to end up, which is, like I said, more of a, the like, I don't even know honestly how to describe it, but Beach Shack is pretty much the way that I would describe it to someone. Uh, like myself who doesn't understand architecture as much as I would like so that's kind of what I'm thinking right now I really love the way that this house turned out I think it fits perfectly what I had in my mind originally um there are quite a bit of the build that I there is quite a bit of the build that is that I did leave in for you guys such as even the floor planning in this one was left in I don't typically do that but um there are also aspects that I cut out such as doing the roofing and such that curvature part of the roof was pretty hard for me to achieve because I was originally trying to 
go for two roof pieces and that really wasn't working so I ended up just making it one roof piece and then doing the little curvature thing. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. Another struggle that I had throughout this build was the shape of the house itself. Um, I was building this from an inspiration photo that I found on Pinterest when I kind of had decided that this is the style I wanted to go for. And the, the general shape of this style of house, at least that I could tell, is very boxy. And I didn't want to just build a bunch of boxes out here on the Windenburg Island. I wanted the, sh the shape of the houses to still have some dimension while still also staying true to the, the, the style, like I said, that I was going for initially. So that's just kind of what I was thinking. So you'll see me like kind of throughout the build, I think I've already done it, but um, you'll see me kind of adding on additions to the house just to kind of take away from that strictly square or rectangular shape that the house initially had. So like I said, I do leave the floor planning in, um, in the footage itself. I do about half of the landscaping, I would say off camera. Specifically the landscaping in the front was done completely off camera because I recorded this over two separate days. I did record uh, half of it last night when I was coming with the original idea for the build and when I was really getting the shape of it together. And then here in a little bit when you see me transition into like the daytime and boom, you know, all of a sudden we're like furnishing the interior and you'll notice that the outside has been landscaped and all that kind of stuff. Then that is the next day's footage or this morning's footage for me. So um, I did build this over two separate points and so I hope you guys don't mind that some of the landscaping was done off camera. The landscaping is actually fairly simple. I wanted to keep it minimalistic because on the beach you just don't really have a lot of like uh, like landscaped looking areas of your yard, at least in my mind you don't. I was thinking that the, the landscaping would be a lot more wild and free. <laughs> so that was kind of the vibe I was going for, wild and free. So we have like some palm trees, we have some grass just kind of like chilling out around the place. Got some like agave plants and things like that. I use a couple of plants from Jungle Adventure because I think those fit in really well with this environment. Speaking of packs used in this build, this is by no means a pack restricted build. However, I would say that if you were wanting to download this and you were a bit limited on packs, if I had to narrow it down to just a few, I would definitely say that Jungle Adventure is a big one. I also use a lot of the brand new items from the, like the, I, I, I'm kind of calling it like the Caribbean update to the base game that came last week. That is a pretty, those items show up a lot. So um, also a little bit of like seasons, a little bit of like city living, all that kind of stuff. Um, then just like a, a mix and mingle of probably a couple items from a few different stuff packs and things along those lines. But like I said, not a pack restricted build, but if you were kind of looking to narrow it down to the most important packs that you need in order to download this build, that's kind of where I would classify it. So um, the th this house is cool in my mind because the bedrooms and a couple of the bathrooms and such, um, the the living area is kind of on the upper floor and then the bedrooms and a couple of the bathrooms are on the lower floor. So you actually enter the house on the upper floor and then you kind of come into the kitchen area, which we're not even working on that just yet. We're actually on the downstairs area and we furnished a couple of the bathrooms, the master, and then here in a bit, we're gonna be working on the, the yellow bedroom, which is really, really pretty. As far as family dynamic goes that might live in this house, I was actually picturing possibly like an older couple and their, like late teenage um, daughter or son. So I was thinking like someone who, like a kid who's about to graduate like high school, for example, or maybe a young adult who's just getting on their feet when it comes to a job. Um, and then like their slightly older parents. Perhaps you could also have like a set of grandparents and their grandchild living in this house. I feel like that would also work. There are a total of three possible bedroom spaces within this house. One of the rooms though, I don't furnish as a bedroom. You guys will see that a little later. I actually furnish it after I furnished the whole upstairs of the house. I don't even know why I did it that way. I probably got distracted to be honest with you. Like I was furnishing the downstairs, totally missed the one you know bedroom that could be a bedroom but that I don't actually furnish as a bedroom. Go upstairs, furnish all of it, come back downstairs to the lower floor and then furnish that last room off. So that's kind of how we go about that. But um, just before I completely ramble on about other things and forget to tell you guys, this build is available on the gallery. My ID over on the gallery is Standing Simmer and I always put these builds under the hashtag Standing Simmer as well. And all of the builds that I'm doing for Windenburg additionally have the hashtag Building Up Windenburg. And guys, I've kind of taken here in the last couple of months or so to leaving some download links and a little bit more of the specs of the build in the description below as well. That way, in case I just completely get distracted and forget to even say any of them to you guys during the voiceover, then you have the information you need directly right down in the description. So I believe that the original name of this lot is Doc Den. So it's a 
30 by 20, like I said, on the island of Windenburg, which I've mentioned a couple of times, but there is a house that comes originally on this lot that I think was, again, kind of a bit more of a modern type exterior. But I'm so excited to be able to incorporate more of the beach theme because I think that this also fits the style of the island really, really well. I have right now, like I don't wanna give away too much as far as my, my planning for the island goes, but right now I'm kind of tentatively thinking about putting probably at least three houses on the island and then I'm doing something with the area over where the bluffs is. You guys know that bluffs area. Funny thing about the bluffs is that there is a part of it, I don't think you can actually change the lot type of some of the Windenburg lots. Like some of the specialty lots are pretty exclusive. Like they have to just be the thing that they come in in the original game. But if you guys have any ideas for what to do on those lots, like the, um, the bluffs, the ruins, and then the Von Haunt estate, they're all pretty set as far as like what the the surrounding area looks like so there's only so much you can do with the buildable area if that makes sense so if you guys have ideas for what to do on those kind of exclusive lots let me know because i'm kind of searching for inspiration for that right now but as well on the island there is a 64 by 64 lot and guys i have absolutely no idea what i'm gonna do with this lot right now i have some well i take that back i have a couple of ideas but nothing set in stone right now so once again if you guys are like hey i feel like this would look really good on a 64 by 64 there on the island Given what I've already told you I'm planning to do with the uh, the style of the island as well, then do let me know kind of what you think there because that's possibly going to be one of the next projects I tackle. Um, the whole of Windenburg comes with two 64 by 64 lots and I'm so not excited <laughs> to tackle either of those lots right now just because I've never built on a 64 by 64 ever. Um, way back before I had YouTube, I attempted to build something on the 64 by 64 in Selva Dorada when Jungle Adventure first came out because I had an idea of something I might want to put there. It was a bit like unconventional. I'm not even going to tell you what it is because it didn't end up happening. So I didn't actually finish the build. I built the whole of the exterior and then just dropped it because I was like, this is too much space. There's just too much going on here. But in Windenburg, uh, there are two of the 64 by 64 lots that I'm going to have to tackle at some point. So I'm excited for the challenge, but kind of nervous at the same time. Um, so yeah, I hope that whatever I come up with is going to be something that fits well with the style because that will definitely be my goal for that. So like I said, this build is on the gallery and I hope you guys like the way that it turned out because once again, I'm very, um, I'm very, very excited for what this means for it means that the style of the island is coming more together in my mind, which means I have styles planned for all of the areas of Windenburg. So like I officially have it all planned out. I just don't know yet what exactly is going to go on each lot. So with any of these builds, feel free to leave comments um, in the comment section down below about like what lots you might like to see. Like I'm always open for that in this series. I had several good comments on the last video that I put out. Um, no, actually it would have been the video before that <laughs> by now that um, I put out for this build series. I had a lot of comments about like, oh, you know, you might could do this or here's a build suggestion idea for you kind of a thing. And I always appreciate that because there are definitely times when I feel like I'm lacking in inspiration and I have absolutely no idea what I want to add to something like this. And hearing from you guys about that is one of the beauties, I think, of putting out YouTube videos because when I'm kind of a little bit stuck, you guys kind of always have ideas that can spur me on to other things, which is really nice. So I do want to talk about something kind of like off the wall and not at all related to what we're doing right now. So I have though, to be fair, talked about the build quite a lot so far in this build. Um, so uh, I do wanna talk about my brand new like mini obsession, which I never ever expected to actually become an obsession. As you guys know, because I probably, it probably seems like I complain about this in nearly every video. I don't mean to, but it probably just comes out in every video. And that is that like, you know, my time is limited, like, like all of our time it tends to be. I mean, if you have a job or have a lot of family stuff going on, on or have you know responsibilities in general then your time is probably pretty limited and sometimes it can be kind of like um, disappointing when that keeps you from doing things that you really really enjoy doing like playing the sims in our case probably but um, I have actually kind of taken up a brand new game here recently that I'm very very excited about and it's not something that I'll ever probably post anything about on the channel I this is more just for personal enjoyment I guess you could say but uh, you guys will have to let me know if you've ever played Stardew Valley because um, I initially, my initial thoughts about Stardew Valley was that, you know, 
I don't really think that this is something I'm interested in. Like I had seen some people play it and I'd heard a lot of people talk about it, but I, I never really thought it would be something I'd be picking up for myself, if that makes sense. And here in the last probably month or so, I would say several weeks to a month, um, there were a couple of friends of mine over on Discord and we were talking about Stardew Valley and they were sharing some, like some of their gameplay and kind of talking it up. And I was, I kind of eventually got to the point where I was like, that looks kind of cool actually. Like maybe something I would enjoy purchasing and trying out, I don't know. So Steam was having a sale on it at the time and I was like, you know what, what can I lose? It's just like, I don't even know, it's like 11 or 12 bucks, something like that. So I bought it, downloaded it, played it for a little bit, like maybe a couple of Stardew Valley days, I guess you could say. And I really wasn't like ridiculously keen on it. Like I kind of enjoyed it, but at the same time, I, I knew that it wasn't gonna take over my life like the sims does most of the time <laughs> i know that if you guys play the sims you probably understand what i'm talking about there but then here in just like the last couple of weeks um i've gotten into playing stardew uh, multiplayer with those same friends that i was talking about a little while ago so much so that we tend to set aside nearly every week at this point to play on our multiplayer farm and i have been enjoying stardew valley so much more ever since then and even so much that i have been enjoying playing it myself just my own personal farm in the meantime so i'm not gonna ramble on too much longer about another game when we're doing a sims 4 speed build here guys but you'll have to let me know if you've ever played stardew Valley or if there is another game kind of other than The Sims I guess you could say that's kind of in your interest you guys will have to let me know if you do like to play a lot of other games or if you were, you know are like me a couple of weeks or a month or so ago and The Sims was literally the only game that you played to be fair I do play The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 and then here in the last couple of weeks I've also gotten into playing some more Sims 2 because if you guys um, know again several months ago I, I promise I'm not trying I'm not setting out to promote a lot of my old videos in this video but it's kind of turning out that way but a couple of months ago at least probably by now I had a video where I played The Sims 2 for the first time it was my actual genuine first reaction to playing The Sims 2 because I got my hands on an old copy of the Ultimate Collection and I I have not even picked it up since then because like the seasons was coming out and that you guys know seasons hype is real like seasons hype is still kind of real for me so as a result of that i just never picked it up again because i was so focused on the sims 4 and i just hadn't even touched it since that point but then here in the last couple weeks i've gotten back into playing that a little bit too like i have a little current household over in the sims 2 i also have a current household in the sims 3 right now and i play a couple of current households in the sims 4 so Long story short, you know, I do play The Sims a whole bunch, um, which I enjoy doing actually, because I think that there are a lot of people that I know of at least who build a lot in The Sims and who maybe used to enjoy playing The Sims for themselves, but possibly since starting a channel and putting out content, find that they really only have time to build. And that idea has kind of always been a little sad to me, but if you, if you enjoy doing that, more power to you. Do it, you know, do it well, you know, keep rocking and rolling kind of a thing. But I always, I always feel sad for people who feel sad about not having time to play The Sims anymore because they spend so much time building and that's literally all the time they have for it. So I think it's important to, if you do create content for The Sims, this is just my little like, you know, Mariah's wisdom corner. That's not really actually like wisdom. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that what I'm giving you right now is wisdom, but if you create Sims content in any way, shape or form, whether that be on YouTube or Tumblr or, or you stream on Twitch or whatever, or a combination of those, I encourage you to play the game a little bit yourself if that's what you enjoy doing. Doing because I think that's important. So I don't know guys, uh, here in just a minute, we're gonna be heading on into the screenshot. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this voice over here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this build. Um, I said it 500 times already in this voiceover, but I so love the way that this world save is shaping up so far. And I hope you guys are excited about it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stop talking about that now. I've said the same thing 100 times in this video already, but I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, leave me some comments, you know, for some ideas or just what you're doing today, or I don't know, anything at all just leave me a comment in the comment below if you would like to but yeah i hope you're having the best of days and i will see you very soon bye
I'm so happy, I can't remember that 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 I'm so happy, I can